Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi and welcome back to a new episode of Viewer Mail, episode 2 actually. And after the last episode I received so many messages, I still have to reply to a ton of mess messages on Instagram. Thank you very much for getting in touch, there is a lot of interesting stuff in there. I also received an email from Steven and you can already see on my desk that we have a Cyberpunk 2077 limited edition RTX 2080 Ti. Those cards are extremely rare. I'm not even sure what the value of those cards currently are because uh, it's really impossible to get one. I also reached out from my site to Nvidia Germany, asked if there is any possibility to get a hands-on on one of those cards. I said I only need for like one day, I would return it directly afterwards, but they said, sorry, they have a very strict policy when it comes to those cards that they're only giving away 77 of them currently. They only made 200 worldwide as far as I know. So it's extremely difficult to get your hands on one of those Cyberpunk Limited Edition 2077 cards. When it comes to the visuals, it's pretty much just the Founders Edition, but it was completely redesigned. We have a completely redesigned box. The general shape of the box is the same as with the normal 2080 Ti Founders Edition. However, everything was redesigned and remodeled for Cyberpunk uh, 2077 in cooperation with uh, CD Projekt Red. So we have this nice logo and cover on the right side and everything is in this black and yellow design. We have Cyberpunk 2077 uh, edition down here, also on the bottom right here. So just the box itself looks already really cool. In general, I really love the NVIDIA boxes, also the Founders Edition box and the Titan boxes. I think they're really nice, especially they're not as big as the AIB partner designs, um, but I think they give the card a really nice touch. So if you open the box and you take the card out from the inside, you already have a very high quality feel when you take out the box, um, when you take out the card from the box. Looking at the visuals itself, we have this twin uh, fan design, the same as the normal 2080 Di. Not, nothing here changed from what I can judge. Also the backplate feels almost identical. I think they just uh, redesigned some parts of the aluminium right here. It is aluminium, so it really feels heavy. It really feels elegant and um, feels like it has some value. I would really be curious if you would list one of them on eBay, how much you can get for them. When it comes to the design, the card itself has pretty much the same style as the box itself. We have this nice uh, yellow backplate with the Cyberpunk 2077 logo on it. Uh, on the left side of it, we have an RTX 2080 Ti logo. It looks like this is um, plastic, so it could be that this part lights up when we plug in the card. I'm not sure about that part. We will find out in a bit. Also, there's a serial number sticker on there with a lot of numbers at the beginning and then it ends with a 5. So this seems to be um, the card with the serial number 5, which is cool. And when you look at the cooler itself and comparing it with a normal RTX 2080 Ti, mainly the part in the middle right here changed and everything that used to be uh, silverish is now painted in yellow. And the paint also looks like it's a very good quality paint. It doesn't look like... I can't find uh, spots that were not uh, painted correctly, which is quite cool considering that it's a limited edition card and when it's limited edition design you're never sure if they're just making like quick designs and don't spend that much time on it. Like with when it's really mass production, they have to make sure that everything works really really out nicely. But this card looks really beautiful. The cool thing is he also allowed us to open the card which is something I didn't think he would uh, allow us to do. And he even said, Steven said, Roman, if you want to, you can do extreme overclocking with this card, like liquid nitrogen extreme overclocking. But I told him that I don't think it's a good idea, um, considering how rare this card is, how high the value of this card potentially is. And then there's always a risk if you do LN2 that you're damaging the card, something can always go wrong. You can be as careful as you want with the condensation, everything. Something can always go wrong and therefore I don't want to be responsible for breaking this card. And that's why we're just going to do a quick teardown. We're going to open the card, remove the backplate, just take a look inside how it looks like. I assume it's exactly the same with a normal 2080 Ti Founders Edition but we will double check it and then we will do a quick test, see if the GPU is maybe higher quality than what we typically have on a 2080 Ti. If there's any difference, difference, just check with some quick benchmarks 
how high we can push the card when it comes to overclocking and uh, see what the temperatures are. First step is to remove all the small screws that hold down the backplate. The bigger screws should only hold down the cooler directly and I think we might also have to remove those. Unfortunately, as far as I can see, this part is really not illuminated. I thought it could be that the RTX logo would light up and maybe this part right here that looks like a PCB. It's a cool design sticker, unfortunately it doesn't light up. That would have been really, really cool. If we turn it around, um, the internals uh, look pretty much identical to a normal 2080 Ti. We have some thermal pads that make contact to the back of the GPU, back of the memory, also back of the VRM and the rest that is shiny right here is some foil that's responsible for insulation of the SMD components that are sitting on the back of the card and could potentially make contact with the aluminium of the back plate and therefore cause short circuits but this foil will prevent this. NVLink cover unfortunately I don't think that anybody will run two of those identical cards in SLI. Looking at the card PCB itself, I don't think that there are any differences to a normal 2080 Ti when it comes to the PCB. Something I noted that could be different is the thermal paste that is applied to the inductors right here. All the cards I opened previously and those were very, very early cards from production had like blue thermal pads on those inductors on the bottom here on top and here on this side. But you can see this is really soft. This is more like a thermal paste. I think this could be different, but it could just be the same stuff as on the normal 2080 Ti and maybe the color changed, maybe some specs slightly changed of this thermal paste, but otherwise I don't think there are any differences to the card. Same thing goes for the cooler from what I can see. Um, the shape is pretty much identical to 2080 Ti. There is no difference from what I can see right now. The only thing, as I said before, is the thermal paste in this area and right here that's making contact to the inductors of the card. Also, we have this cable right here that seems to have some additional shielding around it or like uh, insulation stuff. That's something I noted as difference from the previous 2080 Ti I opened. This cable is at the same time the signal cable for the lights as well as for the fan connector. Some cards, some 2080 Ti's uh, have dual cables, one for the fans, one for whatever kind of RGB they carry. This type of connector also is on many EVGA cards that kind of follow um, the NVIDIA reference design. Otherwise I don't think there is any difference from this cooler to a 2080 Ti Founders Edition. Setup is up and running. As you can see, the only thing that's lighting up is the logo on top. It has this tealish color to fit the Cyberpunk 2077 logo. Unfortunately, the RTX 2080 Ti logo is not illuminated. It would have been really epic if this thing would light it up also with this kind of PCB shape traces they have in between the logo. Same goes for the backside. There's nothing that lights up in addition compared to a Founders Edition. Only the logo on top lights up teal and the rest is just painted. Also if this logo would light up it would look absolutely amazing. Still it's a very beautiful card. I'm already in Windows 10. Times by Extreme is also up. We're going to perform several GT2 runs, graphic test 2 runs, just to compare if there's anything special about this card. If it would perform or clock higher than a usual Founders Edition. I don't expect it but let's give it a try. Stock situation doesn't look that great to be honest. 
MSI Afterburner is still entirely stock. We are performing the render test which is included in GPU-C. Currently GPU boosts to about only 1900, uh, which is kind of normal for 2080 Ti, but it's not great. It's also not, not above average from what I can tell. GPU temperature almost 70 degrees Celsius so far, while the power consumption in TDP is not even reaching 100%. GT2 is running right now with GPU set to plus 110 MHz with fan, fan profile on auto which is probably what you're going to use 24-7. You wouldn't like to use a manual fan curve that goes up to like 100% because this card in 100% fan speed can be really really loud. You can see in GPU-Z during the benchmark we had about 1935 to 1950 MHz during load. Setting the fan to 100% fan speed, it gives you just about 2 GHz, but it's really loud and, anno and annoying. So much for this quick review and test video of the RTX 2080 Ti in the Cyberpunk uh, Special Edition. To me personally, an absolutely beautiful graphics card and considering the small amount they produced, it's such a rare and special card to own, especially if you're collecting GPUs. I wish I could collect it and could keep it, but obviously I'm going to return it to Steven. Also thank you very much Steven for providing the card to us and especially for allowing us to open the card. That's something I wouldn't take for granted, especially considering the value of this card. I would also really be interested in what the value of this card really is. If you would sell it, for example, on eBay, how much collectors are willing to pay for such a sample. Technically, there is no difference whatsoever comparing it to a normal 2080 Ti Founders Edition. It's really just the box and a different painted cooler and some more details, but that's it. Otherwise, it's just a normal 2080 Ti Founders Edition. Thanks for joining in and uh, stay safe, stay healthy and stay at home. See you next time. Bye.